Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all the Narans on the go and in the know, wherever you may be. Big news today, it is November 6, 2019. Know that today, we are one day closer to our goal than yesterday. First article of interest. Parliament sets next Sunday a date for passing new reform packages. 13 to 36 November 6, 2019 Baghdad, the deputy of the Kurdistan Islamic Group, Salim Hamza, on Wednesday, set a date next Sunday for a meeting of the House of Representatives, indicating the session will be allocated to pass new reform packages as well as the law of retirement. Hamza said in a statement to Slash Information Slash that the presidency of the House of Representatives set on Sunday as a date for the Parliament session to discuss several topics. He added that the political situation does not bear further procrastination in resolving the file, especially the demands of demonstrators and the Parliament must pass all requests. Hamza explained that the session will be devoted to support the government in passing the reform packages recently approved as well as to discuss the latest political developments and pass the pension law. Next article of interest. The Dome of Parliament is preparing for an upcoming meeting with the coordinates of the demonstrations. November 6, 2019 Baghdad Omar Abdul Latif, the Human Rights Committee in the House of Representatives revealed that there is an upcoming meeting with the coordination of demonstrations to transfer their demands to the Parliament and the government. While the High Commission for Human Rights received 64 complaints from the demonstrators and security elements for those who have been abused since last month and until now, Kusay al shabaki deputy chairman of the committee, told al Saba the committee held many meetings in coordination with the Commission on Human Rights with the commander of Baghdad operations, to demand security forces to stop using violence and weapons that lead to the martyrdom of demonstrators and the use of tear gas in the right way and not hit him in a way, directly towards them, to stop it permanently and to follow peaceful methods and not to friction with the demonstrators. al Shabaki added, the committee hopes to hold a meeting with the coordinators of the demonstrators to listen to their demands and call on them not to friction with the security forces which leads to harm and the possibility of communicating their demands to the government and parliament to resolve the current crisis. For his part, a member of the Board of Commissioners in the Office of the High Commissioner for Human Rights, Dr. Fadhal Al-Gharawi told morning the teams of the commission deployed day and night in Baghdad and the provinces to monitor and document everything that happens in these demonstrations. And at the same time there are many complaints and reports received by the office and conducted many of the dialogues between the demonstrators and the security forces, to emphasize that the demonstrations remain in a peaceful form and not be dragged into any collision situation may have left many victims, as happened in Karbala last Sunday and Monday in Baghdad from the casualties away from the demonstrations peaceful. Al Gharawi added that the Commission held several meetings with decision makers and coordinators and many local authorities and security forces in order to stay away from the use of direct weapons and prevent the use of tear gas, which is affecting many demonstrators, and at the same time we asked the demonstrators to stay within the geographical limits allocated the Commission is working on issuing its official report which will include a large number of observations and indicators related to human rights issues that accompany these protests. Iraq since its launch on the 1st of last October until now, together with a number of recommendations to the government and parliament, the judiciary and the presidency of the Republic and the United Nations to be a way to resolve the issues that have accompanied these demonstrations map. The law and the powers and decisions taken by the Board of Commissioners are for the purpose of preserving the privacy and independence of the work of the Commission and dealing with all proceedings professionally and professionally, especially taking the rights of the people in a positive indication that the Commission is a safety valve for all Iraqis, whether they are demonstrators or the rest of the people, and we were in discussions critical with the government and its institutions and security authorities. There was a lot of communications and programs between the institutions that make up the Commission. That they remember many figures that may not be real, but we stress that it is a daily documentation of everything that happens in Iraq and talk that there is E said that all harm to human beings is a violation of human rights, whether with regard to security forces, government actions or the behavior of demonstrators so that the Commission documented all this and presented through intensive meetings and programs and support for the Iraqi state through its meetings with UN and accessibility and the Constitution, 
Al Gharawi said that the commission is still in continuous meetings and emergency sessions and there is a productive cell day and night through the presence of 600 observers and all governorates are conducting daily monitoring and writing official and documented reports on what is happening in the demonstrations and the delivery of messages stressing that the commission is not a statistical body to speak it only reports and complains about cases of human rights violations and refers them to the Human Rights Court through the public prosecution portal. It has other procedures to be carried out through its direct contacts with the UN and Parliament. There are intensive meetings with the Parliamentary Human Rights Committee and here were field visits to the Council of Commissioners to the places of demonstrations and the leadership of operations and direct meetings with the coordination in order to be a link to all parties so that there will be no problems related to going to frictions and then the loss of so many victims. He hinted that the Commission received 64 complaints in the governorates, which witnessed demonstrations since the 1st of October last until now by demonstrators and members of the security forces alike noting that those complaints have completed their investigations and referred according to the law to the prosecution to complete those investigations. Al Gharawi pointed out that there is a golden and humanitarian opportunity at the same time after the government, the demonstrators and the Marjaya put forward a roadmap with actual measures in the form of phases, such as constitutional amendments, land distribution and improvement of the investment and economic environment, but all this is achieved in a long time, which means we need direct programs. Practical measures give reassuring messages to protesters and citizens that there is indeed a real response by the government to their demands such as reducing gasoline and gas prices, reducing or cancelling the interest of banks, cancelling the accumulated debts on water and electricity services and distributing an integrated ration in contained several types of food, noting that such measures may be positive messages and give assurances to the government that they are serious in the process of implementation. But betting on the factor of time may aggravate the issue and increase the escalation after we witness during the two days of banditry and closure of institutions and it is not true that there is a disruption of the state and its institutions and the services of citizens, and therefore the government is required to proceed with the implementation of the reformist side and what all the institutions have drawn for the roadmap. It is assumed that there will be direct and effective measures without betting on implementing this during a long period of time so that there will be no mistrust between the government and the demonstrators and the rest of the institutions in not implementing them. These contents. Next article of interest. Parliamentary finance. Iraq's budget is a classic and needs a number of amendments. November 6, 2019 Baghdad, the Parliamentary Finance Committee, Wednesday, that the classic budget being Kobe best of the budgets that preceded pointing out that the 2020 budget needs a number of adjustments commensurate with the current situation in Iraq. Committee member Hanin al qadu said in a statement to the information that all budgets approved in the past periods were classic budgets Kobe best from the previous and did not change the items. The government is required to complete the budget and send it to Parliament as soon as possible so that amendments can be made and vote before the end of this year. He explained that the 2020 budget needs a number of adjustments and must emerge from the classic classical to suit the needs of the citizen in the country, and include other revenues and production projects that maximize its resources and commensurate with the current stage. Next article of interest, protesters and sit-ins warn Halbasi. We did not ask you to cancel the accountability and justice, do not tell us unless we say it. Baghdad, Iraq Today, activists and demonstrators in Tahrir Square warned the Speaker of Parliament, Mohammed al albasi and a number of council members of the danger of taking political steps and decisions that no one demanded. They pointed out in separate statements and publications, Iraq Today to copies of them, that the popular protest did not call for the abolition of the accountability and justice or the abolition of institutions to redress the victims of the former regime, nor demanded to pass special grades, as was done in the quota of members of the Federal Service Council or secretaries of the network the Iraqi media, which were distributed completely partisan. The activists said, These actions, which are issued now as if as part of the parliamentary and governmental response to the popular demonstrations, a line no one has demanded this never. They added that the basic demand now is to dissolve the current government for itself, or topple it in Parliament, and then to form a new election commission of honest and completely independent personalities, and then the House of Representatives dissolve itself in preparation for new elections throughout Iraq produce a slim parliament able to address current crises in the fight against rampant corruption. 
They stressed that what Baram Saleh and Mohammed Halbasi are trying to portray to public opinion as not part of the problem is a clear misleading. Rather, the demand for their departure is one with Adel Abdul Mahdi, and will not be safe from dismissal or expulsion when the government of quotas and corruption now fall. Next article of interest, oil amounts to $50 per barrel in next year's budget. 13. 05 November 6, 2019 Baghdad, Oil Ministry announced Wednesday, for informing the Ministry of Inans to adopt the rise of $0 a barrel in the federal budget for next year 2020. The agent said the industry senior fired grace in a statement carried by the official newspaper Saba and seen by information that his ministry I declined to be the price of a barrel of oil in the budget $50, because the price was the result of an in-depth study of global markets, explaining that his ministry informed the Ministry of Finance in order to prepare the budget, he stressed, not to determine the amount of oil produced in the region in the budget for 2020 so far and it is currently in the process of discussion with the region. He added that his ministry had surplus production in Kirkuk oil after it stopped flowing through Turkey earlier, which led to the diversion of exports through Iran and then the ministry was able to re-export through Turkish territory, noting that quantities of oil produced in Kirkuk fields are currently being exported at 100,000 barrels per day. Other produced quantities are diverted to local refineries. Next article of interest. Iran is inevitably expelled from Iraq. November 6, 2019 The Arabs Baghdad, the defeat of the ruling political class in Baghdad is possible, but it is only a matter of time. Hat is what the young protesters are determined to withstand. It is true that the region has been besieged and that the siege can only be lifted by killing, which the armed authorities have not hesitated to do, but it is also true that Iran, the regime's patron, still possesses malicious techniques through which it will attempt to penetrate and destroy the demonstrations from within. The animosity between the protesters and Iran has been declared and transcended the issue of protesting the survival of the regime, which is Iran's agent inside Iraq. The protesters were clever in dealing with that hostility. This has irritated the Iranian regime, especially Khomeini, and made them feel they are facing a new awareness of the Iraqi issue. Had consciousness was characterized by its clarity and freedom from the sectarian and ethnic dimensions. Rockists today do not address the issue of their freedom out of ethnic or sectarian hatred, but the issue deeper and more comprehensive and broader, for young people who took to the streets in protest, the ethnic and sectarian identity of the occupier did not concern them, there is nothing to blame for the protesters from the ruling political class in Iraq on the level of their political discourse. They are not against the rule of the political majority, they are not against the constitutionally constrained democratic system, nor are they against establishing respectful relations of cooperation with Iraq's neighbors, including Iran. All this means that the protesters seek to restore their homeland by freeing it from the sectarian fabrication that it placed under Iranian sovereignty. FTER The religious parties revealed their complete allegiance to Iran and their dependence on the jurist. The talk of a sectarian majority is no more than hypocrisy, in which Iranian hegemony is intended to be a fait accompli. If the demonstrators from the first day were dropped from the sectarian state, they cut short the way to Iran as its official sponsor hey, have broken through all the red lines to the last line, which the political class in Iraq still believes is the last block if it is threatened. Protesters in the October Revolution went far beyond what Iraqi politicians imagined would be for the Iraqi people to reach. Ode, the young uprising cannot accept government reforms or even the resignation of the government, as much as they think of ending the political system based on Iranian subordination. Khomeini described what is happening in Iraq as a riot and knows very well that his words do not carry a grain of honesty. Or perhaps he had to look for the means to negotiate with the protesters, since he was personally intent on the protests. He will be forced to do so after it is confirmed that the means to be followed by his followers will not work to extinguish the flames of Iraqi anger but will increase them. There is no end to Iraq's sectarian system until Iran is convinced that its influence in Iraq no longer has domestic cover. His is what peaceful revolutionaries seek, who feel that the defeat of the political class is only a matter of time. Iran will seek to save its situation in Iraq and will fail in its endeavor. His is because it is considering saving the political class to save its project. His is a mistake you will pay for in the future of its relationship with Iraq. Next article of interest. 
Abdul Mahdi considers adding financial commitments to implement the demands of the demonstrators in the budget of 2020, November 6, 2019 2139 Baghdad Today Baghdad, Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi chaired on Wednesday, November 6, 2019, an expanded meeting to discuss the budget for next year 2020, and the addition of financial commitments required to implement the demands of the demonstrators, within the budget. Abdul Mahdi's media office said in a statement that the latter chaired an expanded meeting to discuss the 2020 budget, and its updated version in the light of the new concepts and foundations put forward in the government program, and the addition of financial commitments required to implement all promises made by the government in response to the demands of the demonstrators. The meeting also discussed important reforms in rationalizing spending, increasing revenues, reducing the deficit and starting the gradual shift towards balancing programs and performance, the statement added, noting that the committee continues to hold its meetings for this purpose in the presence of experts, ministries and concerned authorities. More articles of interest to come. Don't forget to hit that like subscribe button and check out the CEP Currency Exchange Planner, the link is in the description panel. Make sure to tell them, the Dinare and sent you so you get the extra pre-negotiated discount as my subscriber. I encourage you, knowledge is power, stay informed and stay alert. Over and out for now, the Dinare